Hello guys and welcome to my CCT tutorial about multiplexers and I want to start with the simplest and easiest one to understand and this is the boolean mox with input output floats so once you learn its basic operation it will be easier to understand the more complex ones so let's get started right now I am running a simulation and I want to show you the basic elements of this boolean mox so let's start with the inputs. My first input is called mode, and it's a Boolean input, which means that it can be false or true. And then my other two inputs are I1 and I2, input one and input two. And But these two inputs are floats, which basically means they are numbers. You can connect numbers to these two inputs. And on the right hand side, we have an output, which is also a float, a number. Okay, so the basic operation of this multiplexer is this. Based on the value of its mode, it will pick one of the inputs value and redirect that to its output. Okay, so for this Boolean mox, when its input mode is false, it will pick the first input, I1, which is 78. And right now, our mode is false. So it means that this 78 is going to be redirected to its output. And if our input mode is true, it's going to pick the 72 and redirect it to the output. So let's give it a try. Let's uh, command this mode to true. So I'm just going to right click my input, command, and I go to true and then send command and you see now it's true and now my output is 72 so it's that simple so I picked these two numbers just to show you an application for this uh, multiplexer let's say that when our system is occupied we want to have a 72 room temperature set point and when the system is unoccupied uh, we want the set point to be 78 so we can solve that with a boolean uh, multiplexer so if it's if it's not occupied let's say false it's gonna output my 78 uh, and if it's occupied or true uh, we can pick the 72 and make that my new set point okay so let's try now creating a boolean multiplexer from scratch so i just exit my simulation and I'm gonna go to a, a blank activity and if you go to your palette right here under selection you click on the plus sign uh, you see that we have about uh, six multiplexers so the one that we are interested in is the boolean float IO so you just click and drag a second way to create a multiplexer Let's say you are having a hard time finding it. Uh, you can just go to filter and just type its name. So MUX and I know that I want a Boolean and I can even type float and there you go. You can just drag it over. So let's delete this. Okay, so this module as it is, is ready to go you really don't have to do anything basically all you have to know is that when you when you have a false value under mode it's gonna pick I1 and it will output that value over here if your mode is true it will pick I2 so as long as you know that it, it works like that okay so let's go a little bit more advanced let's say that when I have a false I wanna pick I2 and we, when we have a true, I want to pick I1, you know, the reverse order. We can do that. We can definitely do that if we double click on the module and go to edit. And let's focus on this part. Um, for now, I want you to ignore this default. Uh, and I, I want to make that, uh, uncheck that and make it false. So basically, as it is, um, when our mode is false, it's gonna pick I1 as, as we know. And when it's true, it's gonna pick I2. But we want the reverse order. 
So basically all we have to do is click here and that's well I can't pick true so I gotta uncheck it here so now it allows me to pick true uncheck that and now I'm gonna click here and pick false so I'm just reversing the order so and that's how you basically do it and just go to close and it'll work in the reverse order. Now I want to show you a trick that you can apply to any other module. So I'm going to double click here. And if I go to my right hand side under inputs, you see that I have my input one, input two, and my mode. So uh, I can actually put a value here. You know, I1, I can make, make it my 78. I2 my 72. So if I do that, that way I don't have to really create a constant um, number, you know, a constant float, you know, and connect it here. You know, you can actually, you know, delete this. Don't have anything there, but you know that your values are, are there. So it's like a little shortcut, you know. And on top of that, if you want to get more creative, uh, you can even rename your inputs. So if I double click here, go to edit. So you can actually rename them uh, with the name of your, of your value. So it makes more sense. So I'm just going to put 78 and 72. If I go to apply, you can see that these names actually got updated here. And if I go to close, there you are. So you can kind of have an idea what what's the default value there. All right, so this is the end of my Boolean multiplexer tutorial. And this is the simplest uh, multiplexer, so I'm planning to do more videos on the other ones, especially the, the enum multiplexers. Those are a little more tricky, more involved. Uh, but yeah, uh, stay tuned and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you very much.